We've known for decades the impact that the destruction of our ecosystems has on climate change and the loss of biodiversity. In the last 20 years alone, more ecosystems have been destroyed than in the 100 years before that, with wetlands being the worst affected. Wetlands like salt marshes and mangroves, such as the ones we see behind us, are blue-green ecosystems, as they are at the nexus of land and sea. They are singularly unique among ecosystems because of the disproportionately important role they play in protecting the environment. Making up only 5% of the world's landmass, they hold 30% of the world's carbon. Per acre, that's 30 times more than the rainforest. In fact, by restoring 10 square meters of wetlands, we can offset the yearly emissions of the average European. The biodiversity of blue-green ecosystems plays an equally important role. Of all world species, 40% live and breed in wetlands. But these green lungs of our planet are disappearing faster than ever being destroyed for farming, for settlements, their forests devastated by logging and illegal poaching. We began to study coastal wetlands and saltwater agriculture five years ago and realized that we could build these ecosystems nearly anywhere using little more than sand and seawater. That's when things really changed for us, when we discovered the possibilities of these ecosystems. From food grown on degraded former wetlands to turning deserts into carbon sinks. But it's not just food. Wetland plants can provide us with everything, from sustainable fuel to zero carbon clothing made without a single drop of fresh water. In 2017, we founded Seawater Solutions and the Blue Green Carbon Project to create wetlands where they are most needed. Born in Glasgow, our organization now works in over eight countries to empower communities to overcome the threats of climate change, like rising sea levels or salinization and to create sustainable employment and vibrant ecosystems. This year we're launching our biggest projects ever to help meet the global climate objectives, net zero, food for all, and the restoration of our ecosystems. From turning the desert green in Africa, to empower women in remote communities, to building wetland farms in Bangladesh, to protect the most affected at the front lines of climate change, and creating some of the greenest products to challenge the status quo in consumer markets. To achieve this, we need your support. You can do this by sponsoring one of our restoration projects to offset your carbon emissions, making a donation to one of our global programs, or even volunteering with us wherever you are in the world.